Can the best new commander of the year pop off in standard as well? We're going to find out today. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, Voja, Jaws of the Conclave, 5-5 five, five, Legendary Vigilance Trample Ward 3 Wolf for 6, 5 mana out of Naya. Whenever it attacks, X plus one plus one counters on each creature where X is the number of elves. Draw a card for each wolf. So it's kind of two typos at the same time. You want wolves, you want elves. Are there good ones of those in standard? You might really be surprised. This is a Naya mid-range deck designed to slam some big threats on the battlefield that aggro decks can't handle and then bully them. And also every now and then you'll beat control decks when you get Arlen going, when you get flash creatures going, when you get Cavern of Souls going. Going. It's an interesting build and it's a risky one because four mythics on Voja Jaws of the Conclave isn't something I'd recommend to everybody out there, but I try it here so that you don't have to. But CTP, didn't you call Voja Commander Card? I uh, no questions. Hey, look, if they're gonna release these like pre-release promos that aren't in packs, somebody has to try them in the format, and I kind of see it as my job. There are 27 lands in the deck. You're going to flood sometimes. Trust me, that's better than just sitting there on two lands, which I did I don't know how many times in my first several games with the deck. It's a nightmare, it's horrible, and you're much better just having lands because some of your lands are spells like Iganjo, some of your lands are creatures like Restless Ridgeline. Those go a long way in a deck like this. So that is why the land count is absurdly high. Also, we needed to make room for enough Cavern of Souls to make our creatures uncounterable while still having enough colored mana to cast Lightning Helix. Oh my God! And uh, Arlen. Uh, the pack's hope, which are not creatures you can cast with Cavern of Souls. Other than that, pay attention to the elves and the wolves you may not have expected. Gallagreter, still an elf. Werefox, bodyguard, still an elf. Fleet foot dancer mono red hates this card still an elf so i'm really excited to play a number of these cards in the deck for you today as well as attack the graveyard with cemetery prowler very much a wolf and those graveyard decks you've got to have an answer to them so let's see what voja has cooking let's thank our sponsors coolstuffinc.com as well as ultimate guard and drip shop live we're gonna run an ad for that we've got another stream coming up this weekend can't wait to see you there now let's dive in let the jaws of the conclaves nonsense begin i really didn't want to make this video there's no excuse for what i did i truly and completely underestimated the insatiable need my fans have for Covert Go Blue swag! Yes, we sold out of all of our Covert Go Blue boxes in under one minute in my last stream on Drip Shop Live. But don't worry, I'm coming back to Drip Shop Live and we're gonna have Fallout Collector Boosters to give away and a megaton of Covert Go Blue boxes with playmats, tokens, and other rad collectibles. So join me on Drip Shop Live on March 9th at 2 p.m. EST for your second chance at the coolest mystery box in the game. Use my link and new accounts will get $15 off a $30 order. Wow! This time, no excuses, no apologies, and no questions. Now back to the video. On the play, Keeper. Drop the prairie, play the greeters. Bring out the jaws of the conclave at some point. Looks like our opponent's just gonna play good old control, which is the only deck I've played today. They have a march, or there would be no stick there. But do they have no more lies? They always have no more lies. There's a cavern of souls when I need it, that's the question. Whoa! Okay. Is a play you can make with Get Lost? Yep, we keep Arlen. Make him have the counter. Oh my gosh, did they do nothing? It's not complicated. We know you're not gonna do anything. We know you're just gonna pass the turn. Just do it. Jesus. Ah, uh, these sad excuses for control mages I deal with these days. Uh-huh. They might have another get lost. Let's make our wolves. 
plays into a temporary lockdown for sure, but here we are. Okay, March it is. Ow! We in play. We transform. Uh, become a 5-5 five, five, Trample Indestructible Haste. It can also make two mana. Hmm. Wandering freaking Emperor getting rid of my Arlen is cringe. Let's see what happens if I do this. Are you going to counter that? Nope. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm attacking with the Arlen then. I'll make some mana. And we will use a map token on the warded up Voja. Do you get Tulsimir? Midnight's Light. And here's their memory deluge, I guess? No, nothing. They definitely have a Wandering Emperor then, but they're gonna Sunfall now. Oh my God, we almost got to do something. All right, well this time we're going in for five. Yeah, we're going in for five. And we're playing Pulsimir. That makes more Voja. Drop him to 11. Good looking attack. Opponent continuing with their beautiful doing of nothing. What do we do? This time we... Indestructible is really good. 5-5. Five, five. They play Wandering Emperor. They X out. They go up to 13. They take 8. I guess we also do this. Just give it to them. Give them the business. Okay. How's their timing on that? It's fine. If only I'd been a creature a little sooner. Could have made it block. No kidding. Wow. I'm not overconfident. You're just a Free life. You are not much of a roadblock. Let's see what happens. I have got new moves to I draw a card. Two mana up. Oh, we had one more red. What do you think? Is it no more lies? What do you think, guys? Is it no more lies? I think we try to helix them on their turn and then helix them again on our turn. I think that's the play. game destroyed no cavern of souls that game either we'll take it greeters nice anything on the play with our mana dorks into our big mid-range threats feels wonderful and look at this perfect mana our opponent has an elegant parlor not something i would have given to Boros off the top of my head, but here we are. Ooh. Ah. Well, we could have Fleetfoot Dancer next turn, or we could go start going off with the Greeters. It's actually close. I'm gonna play the Lone Speaker. Just guy control? Probably. Let's go for the Greeters then. They might have no more lies. Resolves. And again, might also be temporary lockdown. But if they're using a burn spell, maybe not. It's lightning helix on the loam speaker. They're going to try to mana screw me. No surprise. They don't have temporary lockdown mana. Let's go for this. See if they counter. We prowl. We on that prowl in life. All right, treasures and treasures. Let's go to the lone speaker. Reduce the cost of creatures. 
punch him with the greeters. Okay. I will see if I can map token here. I should have probably waited till end step to do that. Bin that. Looking for land. Four mana. Jeez, is it Wandering Emperor? Let's uh, see if we can resolve a Arlen Pax Hope. Everyone's a real expert at Magic the Gathering. They uh, simply counter everything. All right, any lands? We did it. We got a land. It's a miracle. Curving out. I wouldn't understand what that is. My creature decks never do. Okay, they're going to tap out for this. They're going to take a counter offensive. They're probably looking for something very good, a uh, Sunfall. They picked very quickly, that's scary. Another Prowler, huh? Well, we want to save this for after, after a Sunfall. Let's go like this. Let's make a tapped treasure token and a tapped treasure token because we continue to stay mana screwed. And let's exile a creature. Interesting. That feels a little desperate. Maybe they're hoping for a get lost here. I guess I'll go for this. Doesn't play around No More Lies, though, which they conveniently left open. This I would really like to follow up a sweeper with. I guess if they use No More Lies on this, it's fine, because they need to sweep the board anyway. Let's see if they do. Fine with me. Get your memories. Thanks for the memories. Go to six. Probably should have left Zergo and Ojitai on the battlefield. They don't know that my deck only has four ways to deal with it, of course, but you can kind of guess against a creature deck that they're not just going to be like, ooh, I removed that. They play the Aganjo. They pass. Is that five? They haven't passed yet, but you know what I mean. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we can make another 3-3? Three, three? Or we can play this. I guess, let's see if this gets countered? No, this this is what they need. If they counter this, then we play this. Okay. Hi. Resolves. Plus one. Plus one. Let's go with a green here and a green here. Decline. Power up. You're going to need a lot. Yeah. All right. Let's see you survive. I mean, Helix is a good card. Don't get me wrong. You're at nine. You're taking eight. Okay. <laughs> sure. Don't know why they let me get all that uh, reduced cost out of it, but I guess if you want to wait until the last possible moment, that is a Magic the Gathering play a Fragopotamus can make. Being at four is a good number for us, though. Think they play a farewell here? Bam! Right up the middle. Just Jeskai spot removal pile. Imagine if they had left their Zergo out, though. They'd have probably drawn, like, four more cards. I'm sure one of them would be the sweeper they need. Uh, okay. Use the adversary. Pop the clue, because the lockdown would take it. Again, untapped land. Does not hit a land. So it leaves the Carplusian Forest. That's game. 
That is definitely game. No Vosian needed. All in the timing. It was game anyway because of the 5-4 trample. Yep. All right. We got through Jeskai control by sheer throwing ourselves against the brick wall until it collapsed. Aurelia. Thought about running Aurelia in my deck. But not a wolf, not an elf. We lean into our Voja Beastie. This hand actually does cast the Bodyguard, so it's pretty nice. Our turn two is the Helix. Let's play the planes. See if we draw something to cast the Helix pain free, just in case. And it looks like we're up against another control deck. Matchmaker on its game today, but the opponent misses a land drop. Let's just wait. Discard. Uh, they definitely kept a sus hand, didn't they? Okay, well, we're drawing a lot of land. How much is it? I should have played the red source. I might have just powered this up. But um, because our opponent, what would they have here? Actually, make disappear. If they're also on Jeskai, they're running no more lies. Let's play Arlen. Let's play Arlen. They got nothing. We must they might have another get lost. So I'll make the rules. Run free. And they drew the white source. So probably going to get lost the Arlen, but then the wolves go to work. Or Helix, that works too. Civilization encroaches further. Ow! I wonder if I was supposed to attack with the llama, not commit to the board and just take a bigger chunk out of him. Still, like lockdown, if they draw a white source is good. But Boseju can kind of counter it at the cost of giving them a land. Let's do the Prowler. Love the vigilance against things like the Wandering Emperor. Our graveyard only has an Arlen, which we don't need a reduction on. I'll just exile the Get Lost. Oseju countering lockdown, giving them land. Hmm. Sets them up for a future sunfall. They're gonna pass. Okay. Night time it is. Relevant? No idea. Let's go for a bivouac. If they want to remove our creature lands, that's fine. I'll just put a little counter on this wolf. I know that's not the target they're after. Uh, okay, that's great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they want to just remove a wolf, that's fine. We'll take the Arlen in case we draw another. There's your damage, down to 10. I mean, is Jessica Control just out here to be a punching bag to Naya today? What's cooking? Here's a Helix for your face. No response. They got nothing. They're helpless. Power. Well, that wasn't so hard. What what do you what are these hands that people are keeping, man? And what are these Jessica control decks? On the play, there is no red mana, but we keep. We keep and we hope. At least we shouldn't get run over. We draw a red source, these are online, the bodyguard, the Gwenna means that we can cast a Vosha when we draw it. Here come the humans. Boros? Probably. That's a great top deck. Needed something like that. So, Boros, just go wide, win game. Oops, all novice inspectors. Oh, very cool. 
<laughs> All right. Well, Helix is definitely at its worst. But we could zap these. They just draw the cards. It, it's so pointless. In case you can't tell, I hate Boros. <laughs> uh, spot removal being bad against them is probably the cardinal sin, but let's see what happens here. Yep. At least that's something we can remove. Is it when it dies? Yeah, so maybe we bodyguard it. Maybe it's the right target for a bodyguard. Uh, they had the mana to do the convokey thingy, but they did not. I think I'll send a little friend. See how they respond. There's a lot of ways we could ruin a big multi-block and get some creatures off their board. Helix and Bodyguard and a Ganjo are all online here. So they just take the damage. Where's my big critters? This is what they're good for. All right, no battle cries, please. That would be your classic elf fox knight. But somehow, being a werefox, there isn't a creature type werefox like there is werewolf. Explain yourself, Watsy. Huh. You think that's an Iganjo? Might be. I'll just take it. Hold the Helix for some other good juicy target. They do not offer one. They just hold up mana. Well. Actually, is it face? Feels like they have an Iganjo. Feels like they also want to draw with their clues. There is a chance the answer to this is face. Let's go. Let's race them. We've got to finish them before they draw into their good stuff. And we have to punish them. Um, okay, so if they have an Iganjo, what's the line? I was going to attack with my Prairie and several of my creatures. I don't know if that's actually good. I think it's better to do what we did before. We could also attack with the Gwena. We do need the damage. I also want them to use it just a little, right? But I don't want them to get the bodyguard. Because if they use an Aganjo here, they don't get to draw with their clues. But if they go to nine, they're in striking distance next turn. You see, they're thinking about it. Okay, here's the draw. They don't necessarily have Aganjo either. See how Auto Tapper held up Cavern? Well, no, they, it would do that anyway, right? Because they have probably resolute reinforcements. They still might have a Ganjo, but they might have been willing to throw away a Novice Inspector last turn on a bluff. All right. We pass. They're... If they go for Recruiter, it's not that bad. Obviously, we also have Helix. I'm going to draw. We gotta get them chumping. The sooner we get them chumping. Yeah. But there's no room for a recruiter here. Recruiter's getting very deadly. Four novice inspectors, no big deal. Bat attacks. Look at all those obnoxious creatures. One less creature. Could knock him to six. I think we just hold this. Come on, big creature. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. All right. 
We got some creatures to attack with here. The opponent doesn't have much life, and if they take it, they die to Helix, so it's chump time. They should know because their face got burned earlier. All right. Down to five. 23. Can they win? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 is a recruiter on its own. I'm surprised. If I were them, I'd have really considered just putting all the novice inspectors in front of the dancer and maybe one more goblin because it's not going to get better. By not getting this off the board with a multi-block, they're basically saying they have to win this turn or it just keeps spiraling in the wrong direction. If I were the opponent, I think they're very aware that my last card is a Lightning Helix. All right, there's a Recruiter. Come at me. <laughs> now I'm being a little careful, are we? Yep. You got it. All right, they might have resolute reinforcements, but do they still die? I think they do. We helix their face. We untap, we attack with the prairie. I think we got him. If they had an instant speed removal for the bodyguard, that would be something. It is the Aganjo. It is the Aganjo. So right there, they can go Aganjo. I, I was right. Wow. I didn't. All right. So they can Aganjo the bodyguard. They get back two creatures. They go block, block, block. And then they have two novice inspectors here and they go to one. Why'd they scoop? I guess they can't win the next turn, but they could top deck a recruiter. Huh? Yeah, I think they could survive at one. On the draw, you, but we try. At least we have mana. At least we do things. This is probably on elf. So we can have bodyguard online. Boros. Uh, I guess we'll just get it down now if that's the case. So we take less damage from our brushland. Just, just cast your resolute reinforcements for your lightning helix. I, I'm, I swear to God, I've played so many lightning helix decks today. It's definitely a case of MTG arena algorithm shenanigans. You guys love to complain about it in the comments. Well, it, it, it is in full force today. I promise you. I don't think that's a bodyguardable thing. I think. We just play our greeters into our Arlen. That would be best. Okay, two spot removal spells down. We've been attacked for one, but without the Helix, they'll have more trouble with this. Wolves. Two Mirex and Bivouac. Two Helix and Farmhand? Okay, this is what you're up to. Well, this is where I'd like my Lightning Helix. But now. Okay. Plus. Patience, my kid. We need to flip Day Night. Let's pressure the Cond. Opponent is chumping. We take that. We are ready to flash in creatures. They've hit all the land drops. We've hit all the land drops. Lightning Helix number three, easy. Until your next turn, you may cast creature spells as though they have flash. 
Yep, here's the Discover. Discover gets, oh, a Wandering Emperor. What high value. What else you got? Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. You can tell they're a little nervous about attacking. They haven't double spelled yet. That was a single spell. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm guessing they have some kind of a removal. Is it large enough though? I feel like they are taking a risk with this play. If they have removal. The bodyguard getting removed and then them killing Arlen is very sad. But they don't have Helix up. It's like a get lost, right? We can't play two creatures. We can only play one. So I think we go with bodyguard. The idea being exile this, lock this. Potential blowout. And it works. So two and two, bam, bam. We could make a bunch of mana. I think the five, five is better. Five, five, play Prairie. Play Prowler. Take a chunk out of them. They've got a lot of life. 23. I'm never done for good. We prowl. We exile creature if possible. Could exile the planeswalker, make Arlen cheaper? Interesting. I guess Arlen can be a post combat thing though if the prowler lives. Wow, it's Sunfall. Who would have thought? But our 5-5 five five is still ready to rumble. This can actually make a creature that attacks a land. Okay. Booyah. We can attack them with the cavern. That's kind of funny. Another eight. They go from 28 all the way down to 15 over two turns. But 15 is still a pretty healthy number. Where's Voj at? I need my Voj. Where's my Voj at? Quintorius returns. Are we discovering? Seems a little desperate, but here we go. It's, oh, look, it's the Wandering Emperor again. Shuffle is fine. If they minus, Anyone we're gonna kill it. They did double spell though. Arlen's going to transform me. back. That is good for them. My cavern! My judgment is final. Yes, I play a lot of lands in the deck. A lot of you are really gonna get on me for it in cases like this, but trust me, I had to. Trust me. Alright. You here, you here, get him dead. See you later. Arlen back to power. It's the appraiser. Let's see if the opponent can come up with something to kill this. They get a war leader's call, which I get why it's in the deck, but it honestly doesn't fit. Like, it really, really doesn't fit. However, discover into another double spell is pretty gross. You can make the wolf tokens and play another Arlen. I think the opponent's gonna block here, but we can't be sure. Let's see what they do. That might help influence us. They take it all. If I make the wolves, they sunfall again, right? 
But if I don't make the wolves, what happens? I guess them tapping out for Sunfall. What happens there? Like, I can transform this again. I can plus it and transform it. Then they attack it down. They Sunfall. Then I still have a 3-3. Three, three, and it's nighttime? So this comes down and attacks for another 5? I guess that's pretty good. I don't know. This having to attack puts them in a tough spot, but ah, whatever. Wolves it is. We're on nighttime, so this can come down as a 5-5. Five, five. They have to sweep the board. Or not? Okay. We're gonna play some good old-fashioned removal. We draw a bodyguard. Solid. Here she comes. Five five. Be coming at ya. Let's see what you got. I you wanna activate? They do. So they're at ten. They're at ten. I think we got to hit the token since both of them can block a wolf and kill it. That's a big hit, and now they're dead to a llama. Let's go llama. Oh, Helix helps. Still dead to a llama. They attack the Arlen. How many helix? Three. A mere three helix. All right. We go for it. We have to try. They've had it all. They will probably continue to have it all, but we have to try. Yeah, Ganjo, lame. Drop them to three. Galagreeders. It's three points of damage on the field. Where the heck is my Voja? Where? Loam speaker. Means nothing. Plus one counter. Drop him to one. I don't think one and uh, three are that insanely different. And I think we're better to hold. Both. Well, I guess we know what that means. Here's your sunfall. So let's get one creature off the board. And then let's draw off the dancer. One time. Come on. Jesus Christ. I hate this. I, I think their deck is trash, to be clear. I Can I be clearer that this deck is garbage? Ugh. I hate losing to garbage. You don't play War Leader's Call in a control deck, kids. It's just dumb. So far, 80% of my games have involved the card Sunfall. <laughs> and we have not actually attacked with a Voja. Will this be the game? Oh my god, it's mono red. I didn't think they were still in the meta after the day I was having. Get the greeters down. If the opponent kills it, then we have a creature in the graveyard for the prowler. It gains life, you better kill it. <laughs> I've never seen Naya before. Stop acting like a brain is required to play your decks. There you go. It's so pathetic when they act like they think. Oh, that's a big draw. Love that. Love to see that. All right, three, four, vigilant, reducing my creatures. This is the part where I'm supposed to play Voja to be real, but I can't draw that card. It's like, 
when you when you craft four of a mythic, you're basically saying I will never draw this card. Uh, sure, you got it. Why would I get into combat with a monstrous rage deck? Your trash deck is absolutely, absolutely pointless. So, uh, let's see. This is two, this is two. Oof. I was gonna just play the dancer, but you know. Let's do it like this instead. Go ahead, do it. Squee, Godric, what is it? Charming Scoundrel, great. Oh no, not the wicked roll. Not a wicked roll. I block. Nothing? Good one. Love that for you. Uh, all right. Well, I was going to, let, we'll just hold the bodyguard in that case. Bam. Die. <laughs> Finally, my victim emerges and I slap them as silly as they deserve. Last thing on video bucket list, can I cast Vosia? <laughs> All I want to do is attack with this stupid wolf, so I'll keep this hand. Just come on, come on. I just want an attack trigger from this freaking kick it, kick ass mythic. I mean, you can't even say it's too expensive. You can't say anything about this card yet from this video. We have not had it. Just absolute zero. I'll play these Gallagreters. By the way, can we draw more Werefox bodyguards and land in our 27 land deck? Yes, we can. Picnic Ruiner. I feel ruined. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're missing a land drop in our 27 land deck on the draw against a Rakdos deck that probably runs 14 lands and is gonna curve out. That's, that's how we do it here. Woo, ah! Okay. Wow. Um, opponent? You serious right now? Did they forget how that card works or are they just, this is how they roll, I guess. Uh, I think we pass. I think we pass. Behold my nothing. I'm so good at it. 27 lands. Uh-huh. Ew. Um, life? Counter? Treasure? I wanna vote, I, wa I wanna play my wolf, okay? I really wanna play my wolf. Just one time, you know? One time. We do it! Come on, baby! Come on! We're gonna mess him up. All right, we're just gonna gain this life. Our only priority now is to live and unleash hell. Unleash, because a dog. No, it's a wolf. Well, wolves don't wear leashes. That's perfect. I Just let me have this. All right, I've drawn four Werefox bodyguards and two lands in my 27 land deck. I don't know if I mentioned that. And I need this. I need this in my life. Let me attack with this stupid dog. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, okay. Um, are we a wolf or an elf? I guess we're a wolf. They'll probably remove this, right? They're probably planning to remove this, so we need to hold. So this is three plus one plus one counters on everything. <laughs> Go! Do it! Okay. More Vosius. <laughs> as many Vosius as lands, more bodyguards than lands. I lo you love to see it. What you gonna do? What are you going to do? 
You're gonna chump? Yeah, you're gonna chump. Oh, down to four. All right. Cool. Bodyguard at the ready. Deck works perfectly every time. Just beautiful, beautiful content in every sense of the word. Just do it now before this thing is big enough to fling. Get him! Get him! Destroy him! Oh, Vosha's busted. Thumbnail is game. Uh, it's lit, baby. Uh, perfect thumbnail coming right up. Add this into another just solid MTG Arena hand. Hopefully we draw some big payoffs. We've got a lot of them in the deck, so that would be nice, but we'll probably just be dead before we do anything like that. Boros on the play. It's a bit of a joke. Oh, it's just white aggro. Well, also a problem, but at least our 1-3 might actually make things hard for the opponent. They're probably... Where are they going to play? What are they going to play? They're going to play Adeline? Let's find out. But yeah, get down your loam speakers. So next turn we can Gala Greeters and another loam speaker and then two creatures the next turn. Stormseeker. Heck is this? Well, go second problems for sure. Don't know if we have any chance whatsoever. We'll try. I'll just gain life because we're too far behind to do anything else. And we need to draw a big wolf. Big wolf, an Arlen, something like that, and we might have a chance. Okay, that makes 1-1. One, one. Soldiers, that's the worst card I've seen them play. So it makes me feel like there's a, a chance. weird i mean i'm i assume they're pumping the no they're not pumping the storm seeker uh i guess i block here for the max damage prevention killing the yoshin frontliner doesn't really do much they just bring it out of the graveyard next turn they had a spare mana here we could block here but we're gonna need the life and resources from the gallag readers mm, well that makes me think i did it wrong i didn't see that coming really weird of them to attack with it first too uh there is a creature in the graveyard though prowler can get on that let's do it all right two life because that's the kind of game we're in over to you so it costs one man to loam speaker two mana to bodyguard plus one plus one counter Really need a big old wolf. Avoja would blow this game right open. I do not draw that card. I'm telling you guys. It's it's beyond me. All right, so they're going to Reckless Stormseeker target the Evangelist. Let's deny the battle cry. Keep the life coming. Be hard to kill. That's very important here. I mean, they've got 26. I can't even race them. Oh, that's a good draw, though. That's not bad. So we pass, we flip it to Knight. That is bad. But I guess before combat, we can take their Storm Seeker off the board. We can also see how they block. Vigilance is an ability. Will they try to remove it? They double block. Okay. Well, that's the play. Now I can just deny them nighttime. Get this. Uh, life? Life. That's where we're at. Can't, can't die. Do an alpha strike. Hold up cycling the garden. That's a punish. That's a big punish. 
They're on seven creatures, though, not nine. They attack it all. They attack all. Gotta kill the jet mirror. So I think that's like this. It's a three, four. And kill here. This is a trade. This is a trade. This is a trade. Ugh. And I can't trade this. They get back the Evangel, which leaves us without much chance. Cycle. Another bodyguard would be nice. Ah, oh, you're late. God. Heartbreaker. I can't sack the bodyguard for life because we have to survive this. Now we can't even cast you? Jesus. This deck is such a heartbreaker, man. I... I don't even know what to say. Today's Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Brave Sir Robin. He is Brave Sir Robin, Brave Sir Robin. A anyway, uh, if you want to be a member of the Cool Kids Club, hit the join button. There are random member shout outs and you get access to my videos about 24 hours before everybody else. So if you're now watching this, wondering how all your opponents yesterday got their hands on a Voja list that just terrified you on the ladder, uh, probably in like platinum, no, probably more like in silver or bronze uh then uh you uh you know they probably needed to be a member of the cool kids club get this early that said uh if you stayed till the end thank you that's the number one thing you can do for the video hit like and hit subscribe because uh, dude i i burn mythic so you don't have to this deck <laughs> don't don't craft do do not craft this card is such a heartbreaker it i i swear i i think i was really unlucky that said, many of you will relate to this. Uh, the match, many of you believe the matchmaker is completely, utterly, totally rigged. I think 80% of my games were against Sunfall decks. Now, we still won some because we do have, we, we are smart. We have some Flash Gaming. We have some Planeswalkers. We have some Burn Spells, right? We have some Cavern of Souls. We have some Creature Lands. You find ways to win if you're, you know, good uh, against Sunfall decks. Those of you complaining about Sunfall, you get good. But uh, the, the the painful part for me was either two things happened. Either I had this in my hand and I was mana screwed, even with 27 freaking lands, or I never drew it. Like just the, the amount of times I never drew this card and I was just like, oh God, this is the board. This is the moment. And I just never drew it. Like this, this deck has actually left scars on my heart today. And I don't know if I can do another Timmy deck for a long time but hey you got a standard deck we tried out one of these mythic rares that doesn't show up in boosters it's craft only and my advice don't craft an awesome commander get one in paper build a commander deck absolutely sick arena you weren't made for arena were you it's too bad this would probably be a good standard card in a real standard but we're playing fake like endless set non-rotating standard and it's just boros is too fast it's just the way it is. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video, and I'll see you on Drip Shop Live on Saturday. You're cool. Get ready for March Foil Madness when you order from CoolStuffInc.com. During the month of March, each Magic the Gathering order will receive a free foil, with some lucky customers receiving a foil rare or one of these special promos. Get your orders in now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.